Hey everyone, I'm Brittany Duran from Punish Props, and today on this live stream, I'm going to be working on more of my Fallout 4 Assaultron costume. This guy, ta da! And uh, this costume, so far, I've done videos on the feet and the calves and the upper legs. So if you want to check out those videos, they'll be linked down below. I'm also creating a playlist on YouTube where you can go watch them all in order because I'm sure there's going to be plenty more videos where this one comes from. If all goes well on this live stream, I'll be figuring out the torso, uh, the front and back, and creating a template for them. I've got all my references printed out for the front and back of the torso and it is, it's kind of human shaped, but it's kind of bulked out in certain areas and it has cool little greebly bits on it. So I want to try and lay all of those out um, in the correct shape and see if it can actually fit on my human torso. And this guy I made about four or five years ago now with Bill. Uh, we made plaster torsos for our Skyrim Draugr costumes. And you can see some of the, um, the templating I did for the, the Draugr, but this was used for tons of other costumes. To make these guys, we used sacrificial shirts and put the plaster on top of them. Uh, the shirts, you uh, if you want to try this method, you want to make sure your shirts are synthetic because the wet plaster will stretch cotton material. So we used like, went to Goodwill, got some goofy looking nylon shirts that were very form fitting, wore those and then put plaster over it. Anywhere where the plaster touches your skin, you want it to be all Vaselined up. And then you just lay strips of plaster on it. You, you, you need a friend and you do one half and then let that dry a little bit with a seam and then do the back half. We want to do redo these guys sometime soon and do a video tutorial to show you guys because uh, there aren't too many of them out there but if you go on YouTube and search around for plaster tutorials you'll you'll find some. I mean that's what we used for ours. But I use this plaster torso for anytime I need to bulk out armor pieces. It's not good for a dress form because it adds a quarter inch of thickness in some areas but that's fine. Like I'm just using it to get a big robot shape on there. So let's get started on this. All right, so I'm just going to grab some crumpled paper and tape and like plastic bubble wrap, whatever scrap stuff I have laying around, and I'm going to bulk up the shape. Yeah. Now I've got a giant ball of paper wrapped around my torso in the general form of the robot armor. Um, I'm going to trace on this a little bit to kind of figure out where everything goes to make sure I got the shape right. And then I'll do my normal template method where I cover this in plastic wrap and then cover that in tape. Then draw a more detailed version of the template and cut that free. And then that template will be used for my foam. Now I have all of my paper templates cut out. These two I didn't transfer. I didn't bother to transfer them because uh, once I make these out of foam, I have a feeling that these won't fit anymore. This one's supposed to be sunken into the chest piece and this one has supposed to have a really big seam. So I think what I'm gonna do is, like this is the back piece. Uh, I'm gonna make both sides, glue them together, and then I'll trace a new template. It'll be like this big, big piece here. And the same with this one. This is the front torso. And then this piece, I added some extra template material here because it's going to overlap. Once I do the torso, glue it all together, I'll trace a new version of this because I imagine this will not fit anymore. So these I just have for reference. I think these are going to work out great. I at least know it's going to fit. Uh, I just hope I can mold it all back into the correct shape. We'll see on the next episode though. Thank you for checking out this episode. I learned a lot about torso templating so this was great. I got to reuse my old plaster torso again so this thing is 
been paying off for years now. With all my paper pieces laid out, ready to transfer onto foam, I'll do that in the next episode. Keep an eye on Twitch TV slash Punish Props when we go live. It'll be there, so make sure to give us a follow. And you can even turn on notifications so you can be notified when we go live so you don't miss the next episode. Also, this is all foam armor making, and we have a book that teaches you how to make foam armor, so that'll be linked down below if you want to go check that book out. Also on our site we have a lot of just general foam smithing tutorial content. Uh, we have a lot of videos up on YouTube that are all gathered there so you can go learn the basics of making stuff out of foam. So thank you for hanging out and I'll catch you next time.